Hey everyone, Camille here from 88 Fitness Training. Thanks for tuning in. Today I have a lower body TRX video for you. It's a special request for thanks for asking. I'm gonna go through five exercises for the lower body for muscle hypertrophy using the TRX. And make sure you stay to the end, we'll have a bonus exercise. Today's video, I'm going to go through how to use the TRX suspension system for lower body only exercises. But before we get into that, let's just talk a little bit about TRX safety. As always, make sure that you properly anchor the TRX. So whatever you're attaching it to, make sure it's stable, that you're not going to pull it over. So these usually come with a door strap attachment. So if you are using a door, make sure you understand which way the door opens and that you lock it for uh, safety. Always use safety in mind, it's number one. All right, now with that being said, we're gonna get into some of our lower body exercises for hypertrophy. So first and foremost, we're gonna go with the king of lower body exercises, the squat, y'all. All right, so we're gonna take these handles, we're gonna step out. And we're just going to go right into the squat, just like this. Now, one of the benefits of using the TRX, it really reminds me of like a hack squat because you can get deep into that squat. If you've seen me and James' squat depth video, you know I can't squat to that depth. But using the TRX allows me to lean backwards slightly and I can get a deeper range of motion, which is going to be really good for building up those legs. So the TRX squat is a really great exercise, especially if you have range of motion issues on the traditional barbell squat. All right, with that being said, there's some other variations you can do. You can add a plyo aspect to it. My TRX is twisted here, so there we go. All right, so we can come down and jump up. Right, we're adding that explosive movement in there, which is really good for activating those fast twitch muscle fibers, which leads to growth. And that's what we're geared towards. We want to build mass on that lower body. Another variation of the squat that you can try is a single leg squat. So if you've been doing the traditional TRX squats for a while and you need to progress it, this is what I would recommend. So you're going to pick a leg up just like this and squat down. Now you can kind of counter the weight or not as much as you want by how much you're pulling on this, but it's a really great exercise. You're gonna create a lot of stimulus in those legs, quads, hamstrings, glutes. So it's a really great way to progress the TRX squat. All right, that was exercise number one. Exercise number two is gonna be a TRX lunge. Another great compound exercise for you guys. So we're going to do the reverse lunge here, just like that. You can alternate. You can do like 10 on one side and then switch, just like this. It's going to burn those quads. Make sure you get that deep kind of split lunge there. Uh, so these are a reverse lunge, but you can also do just like split squat lunge. You're not bringing the leg back in. You're just like this. All right, and then you can switch after so many, just like that. But talk about, holy smokes, my quads are, my quads are on fire, y'all. So this is a really great exercise. Again, a compound exercise for that lower body. Exercise number two, TRX lunges. Exercise number three for the lower body is gonna be a Bulgarian split squat. All right, if you do not have good balance, be very, very careful doing this. But I'm actually gonna raise these straps up a little bit. We really want them to be about bench height, because if you think about how you do a Bulgarian split squat, that backwards foot is up on the bench. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna use these stirrups at the bottom. I'm gonna hold on to something here. Definitely hold on. And I'm gonna tuck the foot in there like that. And then you gotta kinda hop out just like that, and we go down into that Bulgarian split squat. 
Now this adds an entire degree of instability to it. I mean, if you think about how you traditionally do split squats, that foot's balanced up on that bench and a lot of people will use it to help them. But having this foot back here, I mean, man, it's totally unstable. Woo! See, you gotta be really careful, take your time, but it's gonna challenge you in new ways. It's gonna create that metabolic stress that helps to get those gains. So if you're stagnant, or you feel like your Bulgarian split squats are stagnant, try adding this instability factor. Okay, exercise number five is gonna be a hip bridge with some abduction. All right, so I've got these kind of up a little bit. I'm gonna lay flat and I'm gonna position my heels in these stirrups very carefully, just like that. And they do kind of shift side to side, so be careful. All right, with my feet in there, I'm gonna come up into that bridge and then I'm gonna open up into that hip abduction and it hurts right there. All right, back down, up, open, really squeeze those abductors and back down up open squeeze if that's too challenging for you just go ahead and do the hip bridge you want to come up to your flat you don't want to hyper extend too much but come up squeeze those glutes just like that we're going to do a hamstring curl i'm pretty sure i saved the hardest one for last y'all I mean, I'm already feeling my hamstrings from those bridges with the hip abduction, but this is gonna freaking destroy them. So we're gonna lay on our back, very similar position. We're gonna put each heel in a stirrup handle, just like that. We're gonna lay back, come up into the bridge, and curl those hamstrings back, All right? So you're tucking them underneath you, just like that, really contract them. I mean, whoo, the amount of tension on those hamstrings is insane. It is a really fantastic isolation exercise for those hamstrings. I mean, I think it really gives a uh, seated leg curl run for its money. I mean, you are completely suspending your body weight, if you think about it in a way. I mean, that's a lot of weight that you're moving. So great exercise, exercise number five. But wait, I promised a bonus. So stay tuned, exercise number six coming up. So the bonus exercise is gonna be the sissy squat. You're like, what is a sissy squat? Oh my goodness, let me tell you, it is insane. It is one of the best quad isolating exercises. So let me show you how this is done. We're gonna grab the handles like so. All right, and I'm gonna flex pretty much only at the knee and a little bit at the feet and I'm gonna keep the hips extended. So I'm gonna come down like this, and I'm gonna use my quads to get back up. Just like this. You would think this puts a lot of pressure on your knees, and it really doesn't. I mean, your quads are doing that work. I feel it right above the knees and the quads, like, like that vastus medialis kind of area. But really tough exercise. In fact, I would probably only do the sissy squat if you are that intermediate to advanced lifter. It's pretty intense. I think you could have worked some of the other exercises in there and that would have been a great workout. But if you want to take it to the next level, definitely add in the bonus leg workout, the sissy squat. Well, since we're talking about building muscle, it's obvious by now that you're going to have to progressively overload these exercises over time as you become more efficient at them. So kind of unlike the upper body exercises where we could manipulate how far we were from the anchor point to make it more challenging, you, can't, you kind of can't do that with the leg exercises. So one of the great ways to make the leg exercises more challenging is to consider doing single leg exercises or creating more instability. So instead of doing the lunges, when I did the Bulgarian split squats, I had that foot suspended in the stirrup, which made it a lot more challenging for me. So consider doing that to progressively overload it. And then as always, like as I mentioned, you can get a great workout if the TRX is all that you have. But if you have other equipment available to you in your gym, I highly, highly recommend that you take advantage of it and try to work other things in. So for instance, like my TRX is right next to my leg press. So I would probably hit my heavy, heavy leg press 
and then I'd come over here and blast out like 10 jump squats, like true power move, right? So I smoked my legs on the leg press, and then I'd come over here and I give it everything I got. Like that's what it takes, that level of intensity when we're talking about building muscle and you're a little more than beginner stage. So just consider what you have available and try to work it in uh, to the TRX system. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had time to watch the upper body TRX video. That's the companion video for this one. Uh, and definitely check out our total body playlist. We have so many exercises for you guys. And we really like it when you guys ask us for uh, video content. We pr much prefer to film things that actually uh, provide value to you. So please keep those requests coming. Uh, and as always, hit that like and subscribe. Camille, 88 Fitness Training.